Hi everyone, Miss Christine here from the Hollowbrook Branch and I'd like to welcome you to another science video. Today I am going to talk to you a little bit about insects. We are going to learn about insects, I'm going to introduce you to my pet insect, and then I'm going to show you how to make a spy pot so that you can find and safely observe insects at home. Not every creepy critter, the things we tend to think of as bugs, is an insect. So what makes an insect an insect? Well, let's take a look at this very simple drawing I made of an ant. An ant is an insect, and all insects have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insects also have three body parts. Here we have its head with its eyes, mouth, and antenna. This middle body part is called the thorax, and down at the bottom we have the abdomen. This ant does not have wings, but some insects will also have wings. Some other insects include beetles, mosquitoes, which are not my favorite insect, dragonflies, butterflies, bees, which are super important insects, and cicadas. You may have seen a lot of cicadas this year because they live underground for up to 17 years. And this year we had a big group of cicadas emerge after 17 years. Here's some photos of cicadas. These, there are different varieties of cicadas and these look a little bit different than the ones we see in New Jersey, but they do have three body parts. They're not as easy to distinguish as with an ant, but it does have a head. Here it has a thorax and then its abdomen is kind of hidden under the wings. And we can't see it in this picture, but they do have six legs. Some things that are not insects include spiders, which have eight legs, ticks, millipedes and centipedes, those have lots of legs, and scorpions. One of the things that I think makes insects so cool is that there are so many of them. According to the Smithsonian, there are some 900,000 different kinds of living insects that we know about, and there are probably lots that we haven't even discovered yet. Insects make up 80% of the world's species. It's estimated that there are about 10 quintillion individual insects alive. That means that for each human person, there are over a billion insects. And insects are really good for the earth. Lots of insects, like bees, help pollinate crops that provide us with food, or they provide food themselves. Some people eat insects. Some kinds of insects can help create medicines. And insects are also good cleaners. Some of them eat dead animals or dead plants or other animals' poop. If insects didn't help clean these up, they'd pile up. I have a really cool insect that I would like to show you today. Here inside this habitat, I have three of them. I don't know if you can spy them. They tend to camouflage. So let's see if I can take one out to show you. This one right here. Come on, little guy. Okay. Here we have a stick insect. Or sometimes it's called a walking stick. Can you guess why it's called that? because it looks just like a stick. And it's like that so that it can camouflage or blend in with its surroundings. That helps it hide from other creatures like birds or reptiles that might want to eat it. So let's examine our stick insect here for a minute. Let's look at its legs and body parts. Here it has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And we can see that it has two little antennae right there at the top of its head. It does have three body parts, but it is a little harder to tell them apart than it was on our ant drawing. So it has a head, and then here in the middle, going from about here to here, is the thorax. And then this bottom part here, where it has little lines going across this way, that is its abdomen. Stick insects often stay very still. That helps them look more like sticks. And sometimes when they move, they sway back and forth like a twig in the wind. There are different kinds of stick insects and certain kinds can grow up to 13 inches. They're usually brown or green, depending on the types of plants it lives on, and some can have wings. Stick insects live on all continents except Antarctica. 
They like to eat leaves. These ones here like romaine, lettuce, and oak leaves. Like most insects, these insects have an exoskeleton, so when they grow, they molt and leave their old skeleton behind. Okay, I've moved outside and let's see if we can find some insects out here. Let's go take a look around. Can you see that right there in the middle of the screen moving there in the water? This is the little stream behind Hollowbrook and that is a water strider on the water moving around. It's hard to see, but there he is skimming across the top of the water. They're specially made to float right across the top of the water. That is a pretty cool insect. Here we have a little butterfly fluttering around. This one's called a cabbage white. We see those a lot in this area. They're very pretty and very quick. It's hard to keep my camera on it. Here we have an ant, and this ant is carrying a dandelion seed. Look at that. You see the little bit of dandelion it's carrying around? And you can kind of see its three body parts, its six legs. He's busy. Here we have a bee who has found some clover. Bees love clover, so if you have clover in your lawn, that's great for the bees and it's a great place to find them. And this bee is collecting pollen. He's moving awfully fast, but if you can get a good look, you can see he does have three body parts and six legs. Here we have some kind of beetle. Can you see that? You can see his six legs. He's got some brown wing covers. I'm not sure what kind he is. I'll have to look that one up later. Oh, peek a -boo. Thanks for joining me and my friends today. If you want to learn more about insects, we have lots of books about insects at the Mercer County Library System. You can come and check them out. We also have ebooks, and we have some really cool science databases on our website as well. These little guys do spend a little bit of time at the Hollerbrook Library, so if you come visit us here, you may get to meet them one day. I hope that I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.